Alright, how's it going you guys? This is Zephyr here, and today I am going to show you guys something pretty cool here. Um, if I go ahead and activate this, as you guys can see, I now have the action bar that showed up in place of the original scoreboard. Uh, this has recently been able to be done through a resource pack um, provided to us by Samster10 on YouTube. He provided that to us over Discord. If you guys would like to go check out his YouTube channel, it's just Samster10YT on YouTube. Go ahead and check him out. But I'm going to show you guys how to actually install this so you guys can actually use this on your world. Uh, but first, I just want to show you guys that, yes, this does work if I want to set my money or change it by just using the, uh, the name of the scoreboard that I have used on the actual text there. And if I go ahead and open this, I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like. It looks a little complicated for some people who don't know how to use this exactly, but I will actually show you guys a little example after I show you how to download it. It's just a little bit easier to how to lay it all out. So let's uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you are currently on Xbox, I'm actually providing a link down in the description on how to install resource packs. Uh, and then there's also a couple of links down in the bottom for the resource pack and a text file that I've provided over Mediafire. Just go ahead to those links and download those files. And then once you get those files, I will actually show you guys how you can actually do this. So once you get your files, um, these are the two that you'll be getting. If you, uh, if you install just the resource pack one, it's going to be the zip file. And then there's also the text file which this is, this is not needed, but it will definitely help if you don't know exactly what you're doing. So what you're going to want to do is once you get this, uh, you're going to want to extract it, and you'll get this file right here. And then what you're going to want to do is if you're on PC, you're going to want to press the Windows key and R button. It should bring up this little window here. You're going to want to type in percent local app data percent. And then once you do that, go ahead and press OK. It should bring up this folder. You're going to want to scroll all the way down to the P's here. You're going to want to click on Packages here. Open that up. You're going to want to scroll all the way down. What you're looking for is Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. And once you find that, go ahead and open that up. You're going to want to open up Local State, Games, Com.Mojang, and here is all your files for your world. Now, if you don't have a resource packs folder, just go ahead and make one. It's going to be named exactly like this, all lowercase resource underscore packs. And then once you make that folder, you're going to want to open it and drag this new file in here. I'm not going to because I already have it right here. And then once you do that, go ahead and close your folder. You're going to want to open up Minecraft. If your Minecraft was already open, you're going to want to restart it so that you're back at this page otherwise it won't load up what you want to do is click play and then if you already have an existing world you can actually add it to it by pressing the pencil going down to resource packs and you're going to want to activate this one it'll just be in my pack down here you're going to want to activate it it'll look like this action board v1.5 and then once you have that go ahead and click play and just wait for it to load up and while we're doing that, actually, you know what? I will pull up this text file that I've provided for you guys. Now, this is just a little resource for you guys if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Um, here's a blank template for you. You're going to actually be using the title for the title raw command um, instead of action bar. It's like here, if I show you guys real quick. Oh, let me full screen that. If I do slash title and then my name and then action bar and I can just say any message so you know it'll still show up at the bottom so you can actually have both displays on um, you could do title or you could do title raw and title raw is where you're gonna be able to do it like I have on the side there where you can add your scores and uh, different colors and stuff like that um, but what this is showing is just a little example you're gonna want to take your title raw command at all title and then you, or I guess you could just copy this file or this line here and then this is the example that I have down in the on the in the world right now but if you actually want to 
to start from beginning, you're going to do title raw at all title, and then you're going to want to do squiggly bracket, uh, that thing, um, raw text, that thing, colon, normal bracket, and then this is where you can start copying these in. Like if you want to display something, you're going to want to copy that, paste it, and inside these quotations, you're going to want to type whatever you want to be there. And then you're going to want to do, um, if you want to stop right there, you're going to want to close all this off. So you're going to want to close this open bracket. So you'll do normal bracket. You want to close this regular curly bracket. And then what it'll show is it'll just display high on the side. But if you want to go into a little bit more depth here, you're going to want to do comma. Then you can actually take this one, copy it. This is for displaying your money in the game or whatever scoreboard numbers you have. And then in here, you're just going to, display the name of your scoreboard. So if your scoreboard name is money, you're going to put it there. Or if it's, I don't know, um, balance, however you want to do that, that's where you're going to put the name of your scoreboard. And then remember to close it off. So normal bracket, curly bracket, and then you can just copy this. Um, don't save. Copy this, and you're going to want to put it into your uh, repeating command block. Make sure it's always, at, or doesn't need to be always active if as long as you have a redstone block activating it but just to show you guys that it does work if I press this button see it does still add money to me because all this is doing is adding 10,000 to my scoreboard and this one is just setting it back to zero and yeah if you guys uh, have any questions feel free to go look at my uh, my discord is in the description um, ask any questions you need uh, or send them in the comments and I'll help you guys out. Alright, this is Zephyr. You guys have a good rest of your day and peace out.